In the first act of the 111th Congress, American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 passed without the time to read it. Why not do a universal health care system like the European countries? I actually want a universal health care system. That is our goal. President Obama signed into law the Office of the National Coordinator to oversee health information technology, obtaining everyone's medical records. The goal? Utilization of electronic health records for each person in the United States by 2014. What exactly does this mean? Healthcare providers will transfer your files to the government certified format and send all your medical visits, discussions, medication usage, tests, treatments, anything else provided within the privacy of the doctor's office to the federal government through the internet. In return, you give the government permission to use your medical records for other purposes of consideration of their choosing, including public reporting, biosurveillance, medical and clinical research, and drug safety. You may be wondering, how exactly did I give the government permission to use my medical records in other areas of conditions of their choosing? This is done through the HIPAA regulations. This is your privacy and safety law, which you sign when you go into a doctor's office to allow the doctor to share your medical records with the appropriate people that may be involved in your treatment. In this act, they give the government flexibility. This flexibility means that the secretary may apply the definition of healthcare provider where appropriate, in a sense, using your medical records for what the government deems necessary for the public good. First, let's explore what health information technology is all about. It is a nationalized electronic database system to securely house each person's medical records in the United States by the year 2014. The office overseeing the program is called National Coordinator. It is part of the Health and Human Resources Department within Social Security. Within this program, your files will be securely protected in accordance with the applicable laws. Healthcare is to be improved through this program. Healthcare costs are to be reduced, and this program will coordinate the information among hospitals, labs, doctor's office, etc. However, it is more than a venue for medical records. It provides information to guide medical decisions. It includes public input. It provides the government a venue to oversee health emergencies such as bioterrorism and infectious disease outbreaks. It also includes provisions for facility research and promotes early detection, prevention, and management of chronic diseases. It also talks about promoting competition, although it doesn't specify who's in competition. We'll just leave that to the lawmakers to figure out. This law does have one small little disclaimer. It says, nothing in this section shall be construed to require that a private or government entity adopt or use the technology provided under this section. However, this law is forceful in its words that the goal is to obtain each person's records by the year 2014. They also have provisions in this law to staff regional centers all over the country to enhance and promote the adoption of health information technologies. In addition, the National Science Foundation shall provide assistance to higher education to establish the certification, undergraduate, and master's degree program in both healthcare and information technology students. In order for this program to be successful, each state must comply with federal regulations. These regulations include a financial match. Once the state agrees to accept the federal grants to facilitate this program, a financial match of funds is required. In order to see the bigger picture of the goal of nationalized health care, one must understand the appointment of Dr. David Blumenthal as the national coordinator over the electronic medical records. 
Dr. Blumenthal has recommended the government follow four easy steps for nationalized health care. The first one, to which he is named the director of, is the electronic health care records system. He writes that government control over the information that may be obtained through the electronic medical records leads us to the second step, the data exchange. This is the sole purpose that's been marketed for healthcare records being electronically housed by a government entity in order to facilitate better health care or at least better exchange of information that might help healthcare providers receive important information about your case. However, Dr. Blumenthal does write that though the government may provide billions of dollars to implement this program, there really is no guarantee that health care will be improved or cost will be saved. Step three of his plans, therefore, are incentives. In order for the government to reach their goal of 100% compliance of each person's medical records, incentives may be needed to strongly encourage people to comply. These include friendly computer systems, geek squads with a full knowledge of the system, and, and this is a quote, the use of reward or force to implement this program. The final step, technical progress. Technical progress is a commitment to research and development, and it is an essential part of a national policy. In a commitment to research and development, they promote the idea that the greater good of the national body is more important than the safety or security or privacy of your own medical records, that the knowledge that they can gain out of the biosurveillance, the gene pool of society, is one that is of a great national need, and from that, once the general public agrees with the technical progress, therefore there will be no other solution than to provide total nationalized health care for you and me.